Hello and welcome again. It's Bartosz Czodera and it's our third meeting with Indoor to the Core with Jackson Kayak. Uh, so welcome to Poland again. Uh, sorry for the delay straight away. I usually struggle with the equipment and we had some technical issues connecting all the devices together, but hopefully everything is right and you guys uh, can hear me. So please let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me properly, as we did have some issues and currently it is stuck as, as, as an image here, so please uh, leave me a comment if you guys can hear me. Um, maybe. So anyway, well in the worst case I will repeat that. Um, so that's our third meeting and the first meeting we had um, went through a little bit of exercises that we can do at home, that we can uh, do to stay fit, that uh, we can do to prepare for kayaking, to do our best. Uh, to make most of this time when we are uh, at home, but also to um, do the uh, little bit of drills towards the tricks to learn new moves, to understand them as this environment, uh, which is the, you know, just the indoors we have and the uh, place this is a very safe and easy environment uh, that re lets you really focus on small details uh, because there is no external factors like water, like wind like some currents and stuff so you have a lot of time to address each move what we have to remember is not a single move is going to be exactly the same however a lot of the movement that we can do and a lot of the moves that we are actually able to do here on the flat ground uh, will be uh, very same or uh, similar to the ones that we are doing that we want to do later on the water uh, so it is a great uh, great training uh, so again on the first session we've done a double pump and uh, a cartwheel we went through the very basics um, so that was two weeks ago and one week ago we went through um, uh, we went through a, a loop um, and uh, also we've done some uh, stern squares we've done some skimmer rolls and back roll in the first session um, so uh, and we addressed a little bit more about the cartwheel and all those exercises that were necessary for it um, and today uh, is our third meeting and we're going to be talking about a little bit more advanced moves which are uh, an air screw and lunar orbit all right so i can see your messages uh, thank you so much for tuning in uh john uh mikyang uh and uh, well thanks so much for joining thanks for letting me know that the audio is good hopefully the video is good as well uh, please let me know because of my screen is stuck so uh, hopefully you guys can see me um, what I'm gonna ask you for grab your mat grab your broom grab your uh, stick uh, whatever you got a branch uh, or just anything that you can find um, and head with you we're gonna be using those for exercises um, and uh, well uh, practice with me at the same time today uh, so I had a chance to chat uh, with a few of you uh, so thank you so much for any feedback that you have given, it's very valuable. And thanks to that, I will be doing a little bit more of exercises, more of repeats, as I have a tendency to talk a lot, but hopefully I'm always trying to get things clear, so hopefully that was helpful. Uh, but we're gonna do a couple more repeats on each exercise, so you guys can uh, really see where, where is the trick. You can leave the computer for a few tries and then come back to it, all right? So hopefully that's gonna be... Uh, uh, working uh, fine and again I will encourage you to post pictures to post videos to talk indoor to the core uh, to uh, check out what you've got uh, to show us what you've got uh, in the comments uh, even in a private message even if you have any questions there will be a time in the end uh, I did learn that uh, there is a big delay in the video so if there is uh, anything uh, that uh, you know you think that you would like to ask please don't uh, hesitate and send me a private message or send a comment, definitely drop a comment. Uh, even after the transmission is done, I uh, will be uh, posting them. I will be, I'll be replying to your uh, comments, so no comments should be left uh, behind. So hopefully that's gonna be great. And uh, well, again, I'll encourage you to, to practice with me at the same time. <laughs> Pura vida, hola Mario, and uh, yeah, thanks Jen, uh, Jen for uh for the videos hopefully you, you like the still action videos uh but anyway let's hop to the subject and uh, so here we go we're starting off with the air stream and um, so 
This trick is a dream point for a lot of kayakers, especially riding the waves. This is really what you see those big, very sweet, big tricks in, uh, on the waves and what you really want to get. And, um, well, what, what is really important to understand um, is that to get a proper air screw, first you need to prepare for it, all right? So you need to learn to hop and bounce, rail drive, which means engaging the, the edge, and finally take off. So initiation of the trick comes a while after actual trick, uh, actual preparation, all right? So we're gonna work on that. And uh, as most of you probably can uh, figure out, uh, the foundation skill for an air screw uh, is a backpack roll because it's a very similar movement and uh, you know it's, it's close to what we're gonna be doing. But well, let's get to the business. Um, and uh, the tricks, right? So first thing, hop and bump. Remember about our basic position, which is sitting straight, um, bringing spine towards your middle of the chest, shoulder placed together, smiling, all right? And imagine you're on the top of the wave, yeah? High, and you're about to draw on. So I'm gonna take a few strokes, and with my last stroke, I start to drop in, all right? And my first bounce is gonna be intensive, but it's not gonna be a full power, all right? I like to address it about 60% of power. So I'm gonna do up. Good, right? So just hop, and after a hop, I'm gonna bounce, right? So what's happening, you press your feet down, and your boat bounces up, all right? So this is not initiating the trick yet. This is actually preparing to initiate, all right? So a hop and bounce, let me hop, 60% of power, and then we're gonna go into a rail drive, which means engaging the edge. So hop and bounce, and then dropping your feet again, and dropping your right knee down, all right? I'll be trying my trick to the left. So on the second one, my right knee goes down, okay? So again, for the forward position, exercise. So we go up, bounce, and smash, all right? So you can see I'm slowing both my feet down, but uh, this uh, actually a right one that snaps down over here, all right? So as we're gonna do it a few times, up and bounce, and smash down, right? Up and bounce, and rail drive. Up and bounce, and rail drive. I'm gonna switch sideways, and again. Up and bounce, and rail drive. Up and bounce, and rail drive, right? So this is the same drill that we like to um, coat a little bit on the waves. Uh, because uh, you know you can really easily get into it, like you know, just hop in, bouncing, the rail drive, right? Um, do a couple of repeats to understand how it works, and then go for the next one. Um, so, what you need to know is when you, if you watch my body, it seems I'm moving forward, but I'm actually moving along with my feet, with my hips. If I were to put on my back. This actually, this kind of movement, right? So it's not only pushing your body forward, but it's smashing your feet so hard down that your body follows, right? It's not really possible to repeat that on the flat ground, but hopefully that gives you an idea, right? So now we're gonna, that was just hop and bounce into a rail drive. Now we're gonna go for hop and bounce into a rail drive into an air screw. So we're gonna go hop and bounce, 60% of power, and Right drop air screw notice, I'm dropping my right leg here and I'm moving to the back. All right, so I'm opening my body and as my right knee snaps down, I'm gonna be going to the side. What's a really key thing, you want to bring your body as low as you can. So by the time your knee starts coming up again, you're gonna be already trying a trick and going you're really high around, bringing it slow back and coming back up, right? That was the full version. Now I'm gonna show you it uh, facing forwards. So again, up and bounce, smash your right, say, so up and bounce, and now there's two. Go for a right one, and as soon as your right foot, see it's going forward and line it goes down, as it, it goes here, I'm going to the back. 
my elbows slope, my head goes down towards the tail. All right, so just working on the raised drive. This is a good, really good exercise from the balance sit, right? So going down, throwing to the back. And as soon, so this is the initiation phase where you actually snap your knee down and it's gonna be coming up again, all right? And when it comes up, you throw your knee to the inside. So as you throw your knee to the inside, you're gonna be rotating this direction, all right? So that's gonna, what's gonna be happening. And your upper body is gonna begin low to the back. And from here, my leading hand, which is the right one, which is gonna be drawing a wide circle all the way to the other side. My head stays low and hips come up. And my body is last, all right? Same thing sideways. And we're gonna do a couple of repeats right now. So again, we're gonna do just a red drive into an air screw, and then uh, we're gonna add the hop and bounce technique to it at the beginning, all right? So we already know that we need to do hop and bounce in order to get that extra initiation power. Um, but now we're cutting it off and working just on this little part. So, dropping the knee, foot to our butt, drawing the body to the back. Passive hand close, leading hand and active hand drawing a wide circle. Going around, right knee cutting in as soon as you can. Looking to the other side, there is no point that you should be looking down. You look other side. Cut the water, bring the knees up, come up after the trick, land the big air screw. Okay? So, let's do a couple of repeats. I hope you guys are training me. So, okay. Brain drive, go around and get up. I'm gonna change my direction so you guys see where I'm looking at. So, rail drive, bring the knee up, look to the other side, right knee closing, place the blade, head down, land the big air screen. All right, a couple of repeats of the whole trick. Now I'm gonna do the hop and bounce as well. Hop and bounce, rail drive, throw around, and go for a jump. I'm more from the back, I'm not sure if that's gonna be helpful, but I hope so. Just to change the perspective. So, um, hop and bounce, go down, throw the body around, bring the boat up, and the body comes last, all right? So, <laughs> those are, uh, that was a drill for air screw. Break it down to the small parts, stop on the different parts and try to understand them separately, then put them as a whole move, all right? So if you have any questions regarding that simple, uh, single trick, let me know now. I'm gonna show you a um, couple of those um, Exercises as a separated part, just to give you an idea what I'm what I mean. Um, but in the meantime, I'm also waiting for your questions. So when the video is catching up, uh, hopefully I will see uh, if you have any questions regarding the air screw and practicing the air screw in home. So trying to make make most of your time. For some people, understanding the trick. For some people, uh, practicing those small little details that not always get your 360 around, not always land straight. Um, and all those, all those things, right? So, um, if you want to practice just initiation, really good practice uh, will be lying on your forearm behind your back and drawing your head, hand around, right? Going for a sweep here while your hips go up. This is a really important one when you open your hips and with that move, your knee actually kicks in, all right? Remember to look past your passive shoulder, all right? To see what's behind you in order to catch up as soon as you can. So again, jump, go around, come back. It's quite hard for your shoulder, but I'm sure you guys can manage. And same thing when you're backwards. 
already here. Time for an execution phase. What you want to be doing, you look to the side, yeah? And when you look to the side, a lot of people struggle because they pull their knees and that ends up in a panel, the air screw gets crooked. So what you want to do here, you open up your hips, you really kick those legs up. You really want them high because that gives you extra height on the end. So go around, look to the side. Keep the legs up, come back, and here we are. <laughs> All right, well, remember, this is just an inspiration, just uh, an idea as, uh, you know, something to work with. Uh, but that's also the drills that um, we very often gonna use um, when uh, coaching. So we would take you off the water and then uh, come to the flower, then come to the flat ground, address the small technical uh, things that we have to talk about. Sometimes it's a hand, sometimes it's the position of your body, sometimes it's like uh, crunching your legs and so on and so on. So here actually sitting at home, we all have a chance to address those. Um, issues um so uh yeah well hopefully no questions uh so far if anything comes to your mind please let me know i'm still here for you guys and uh we're gonna jump for a lunar orbit um um sorry it's a bit hot here so it's it's an evening but um actually with a little bit of a exercise it's really hot really quickly um so uh lunar orbit um, it's a, one of my favorite uh, tricks actually uh, these days. Uh, it's really nice to to to, to throw the ball around, um, and we actually did a really good introduction to that uh, on our first session, I believe, when we were doing the stern squirts. All right. So as we are warmed up already, because I hope you guys training with me, um, we're gonna do a small dreidel. Um, I'll just show you a couple exercise for this one and then we're gonna connect them together, all right? So I'll trick you into that. So sitting straight, put your leading blade to the back. For me, it's the left blade. Um, well, we'll use the mat. So left blade, do a, looking to the side, do a 90 degrees horizontal turn, all right? From here, lay on your shoulder, lay on your side, and bring your blade near your tail. Look for your shoulder and move your legs to the side. Okay? And we're gonna reverse that action. And again. Get up, do a 90 degrees flower turn, uh, horizontal turn, all right? So let's do it a few times together. 90 degrees horizontal turn, getting down on your side, looking through your shoulder, blade behind your tail, looking on the blade, bring your legs to the other side. Come back, get up, come back to the forward position, all right? So, very simple drill. I'm gonna show it uh, once to the other side. So, on the right side, do a 90 degrees turn, get on the side, look for your shoulder, put your blade near your tail, bring your legs over, and then come back, get your hand down, get your body up. Mm. And come back with a sweep throw, all right? So, um, well, that's a very uh, basic uh, introduction into what we have done already. Because we, the exercise that I've been just showing you, it's a great exercise, and, I, and we did talk more about it. Um, I believe our first intro to the course session, uh, where we were actually, well, my battery is running low, but it should hold. Um, when we talked about stern screws, right? So that's all you have to do is just bring your uh, legs to the side and understand that it's actually 90 degrees turn into a stern square and then the last part is what we're gonna do right now uh, so we're gonna work on finishing it up uh, we're gonna be lying on our back hand uh, legs in the air and 
this is the position that we're going to be starting. So our living blade is in the water and you shouldn't look at your back, right? So I want you to look, be looking at your living blade and what you're going to do here, it's, as you can see, it's around 45 degrees because this was the angle that we initiated our kind of stern screw, let's call it that way, right? So what happens here, I want you guys to bring it towards your hips and as you bring it, twist your hips, right? So try to do this 90 degrees. So actually, well, in the water it's more about bringing here, it's more turning, okay, doing this kind of 90 degrees with your paddle as well. But ideally, it's keeping the blade in the same place and moving your hips towards the blade. And from here, you should already recognize the position. All you have to do is turn your shoulders and go down and follow the cartwheel. Probably too close to the camera. <coughs> so again, we finish. So I was backwards, 45 degrees here. I'm pulling on my blade to bring my hips towards it. I rotate my shoulders. I look to the ground. I fold my knees in order to be able to do a cartwheel. I keep watching the green, push on my leading blade. And finish backwards, all right? So, uh, so hopefully uh, you guys got those two, two funny uh, exercises together and now we're going to link them together and you, you tell me what does it look like, all right? I'm sorry, it's just something weird with my finger. Hopefully it goes well now. Um, so, basic position, look to the side, put the, your blade near your tail, all right? Do a 90 degree stir. Drop your shoulder to the ground. I'm gonna move down a little bit so you see me. Put your blade near your tail. Look for your shoulder. Bring your legs to the other side. When you get vertical, pull your hips around, looking past your shoulder, and observing the green, twist your shoulders, and push on the blade to finish the trick. Well, hopefully you guys could have noticed that um, uh, that's actually a lunar orbit, right? Doing it a little bit smoothly, so remember this is the exercise. It was not a move as a whole itself, the work of the paddle is similar, but it gives you a great idea of how to break down a trick. Very often for people who be like, um, you know, I don't know what to do, I don't know, know what I can do with the paddle, but here we have the chance to actually think about it. You know, that's the mega difference. My blade is here or here, uh, if I pull like this, all right? So all of those things we can work in uh, in your training. So I really encourage you to try this. And now we're gonna try a full version. So the only difference is you're gonna be working with your elevated foot, uh, feet, and you look to the side as well. This might be you know, really helping. And what do you wanna do? You wanna turn around, keep, um, keep. Remember about your anticipation, all right? Anticipation means your body is in front of your boat, so uh, it's anticipating the move of your kayak. So, in other words, wherever you go with your body, your boat is gonna follow up, all right? So again, turn around, blade in the water, shoulders towards the side, and as you're coming in with your shoulders. Uh, with your legs, your shoulders turn as well, and you go more and more backwards. Keep looking to the side, turn your hips around, look for the green, fold your knees, go around, and land your trick. All right. So a couple of repeats for those who are following. So legs up. You can try, you know, don't be ashamed. Ashamed. I'm, I'm using my hand very often as well to do those turns. Do a 90 degree turn with your body. Oh. Don't lose the balance as I did. So, 90 degrees of your body, start coming up. 
Look for a shoulder, keep looking to the side, pull around your hips and come back and over your bow. All right? Um, so both those exercises can be repeated on the flower, um, especially very often you will see, you know, that's very simple, you know, to just do the 90 degrees turn into a stern squirt and then the stern squirt, right? Even on the flat water. And then even when you're landing a stern squirt, you're here and there is a move on the flower and actually in a square boating that's called a screw up where you bring the boat over your head but instead of landing you actually make a brace and land on the brace um, so this kind of move is very helpful as well for um, for uh, doing the tricks and from flat ground you can take it very easily to flat water um, also, when you remember, when you practice those tricks, remember when you add the flow, so next level after the flow water will be in the flow and then it's gonna be uh, in a small hole and then in a big hole. So you need to kind of be building up uh, the difficulty and it actually starts to make a big difference because the moment that is gonna be difficult at this point, all right, where you actually have to force yourself to bring the balloon around. Um, it's gonna be really a lot easier in the flow and it's gonna be even more easier or quicker in a small hole and in a big hole because there's gonna be water pressing on your tail, all right? So the balance is gonna be changing. But what we are working at uh, with here is understanding the move as a whole all right so um, let me know if you guys have any questions regarding the lunar orbit drill again this is very basic it's one of the few things that uh, you can do um, if you have any questions throw them down in the comments and uh, we can chat about them um, don't be afraid even when we finish that chat uh, drop those um, comments even later I'm gonna come back next day to them and you know, see, see what I can help you with. Uh, don't hesitate to drop me a private message and uh, let me know if you have any questions and anything to you wanna uh, talk about. Um, so uh, yeah, well, because there is a delay, I'm gonna play a little bit more and show you a couple more um, moves uh, of uh, Lunar Orbits. Um, but maybe first as a wrap up. So first we talked about the Earth crew and uh, ways to start it that uh, you know on the way if you need a hop and bounce and then it's actually the move starting it's one of the most uh, difficult things to actually get the height and set up for the trick properly afterwards uh, we did a drill that's gonna help you to understand the move as a whole remember what you're doing here is not exactly the same but it gives you a really good idea and it really helps you a lot to understand the move to uh, get the motion in and if you do it a couple of times uh, then uh, you know you, you kind of co create like a neurotic connections in your muscles and makes it easier to accomplish later on, right? Uh, so scientifically, it actually makes sense. Um, and uh, so that was the air screw, and then we talked about the lunar orbit, the connection between lunar orbit and stern square, and uh, the second part of the lunar orbit. Uh, I don't think I said that, but it is actually um, the uh, second part of the tricky woo as well, all right? So I hope you guys recognize, you know, this is an orbit when you're backwards, this pull over here, right? So this pull we were doing in this place is actually what you do at the tricky when you open up, pull around and bring the, the, the bow down, all right? And um, so this is the same kind of thing, whereas uh, in lunar orbit, done in this way because there are also a lot of ways ways to do the trick um, it's only half of this rotation but it's a really good practice and good introduction to that and uh, remember each of us is different each of us has a little bit different uh, technique as well and those things should be addressed individually but staying fit staying at home uh, and making most of this time is the most uh, important thing now and well um, I hope you guys are gonna tune in for our next session next week. 
uh, we're gonna take some of those exercises to the flat water and we just set up a small pool in our garden uh, which is slightly shallow and slightly round and slightly limited space but I imagine some people would have those pools at home also a lot of people have been asking me what's the size of it how does it work so I'm gonna show you exactly how does it look uh, what can be done in such a pool and maybe some of you will be actually interesting on uh, getting one or maybe some of you have already small pools and uh, was wondering what kind of drills and extras it can be done in that so right so this will be next week next Thursday um, um, yeah well let me show you another bit to the other side as well so if you're showing on the on the one side remember whenever you practice you have to do it both ways all right so let's kick it off with trying 90 degrees here so doing my body so just just the exercise first going to the side looking for a shoulder getting here all right I think I'm going the wrong way <laughs> all right um well that was extra 100 degrees bonus uh on the landing but from here like this to the tail shoulder rotation is 90 degrees going around as I'm coming in here I'm going to the side my legs go up here I'm then you pull 90 degrees on my hips and my computer is suffering from me finishing the trick don't worry about it all right so uh, that was kind of sloppy lunar orbit but everybody has a stronger weaker side my weaker side is definitely right side that's why most of the tricks being done to the left um yeah well so if you guys don't have any questions um yeah, well, we'll see you next week. Uh, stay home, stay safe, and hopefully, uh, well, we'll uh, see you soon on the water.